The parents of the accused shooter, Jennifer and James Crumbly, are asking the judge to reduce their bond from $500,000 to $100,000. But late this afternoon, Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald filed a brief to argue against that. That brief revealing the concerning drawings made by Crumbly and discovered by a teacher at Oxford High School just the day before the deadly shooting. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirstner is outside District Court in Rochester Hills with this brand new information. Jim? The two parents are charged with involuntary manslaughter and with this filing late this afternoon, the Oakland County prosecutor says the case against them is stronger than ever and that they're at a greater risk of flight. They bought their son the gun that was used in the shooting just days before it all happened. And remember the day they were charged about three weeks ago, they were found hiding out in a building in Detroit. Clearly, this is a serious case. People died and they have a responsibility for that, according to the prosecutor. I think a judge is going to have a hard time reducing the bond. The Oakland County prosecutor says the Crumley parents are $11,000 behind in their house payments. Their house is for sale. They sold horses they owned. And there are more critical facts known by the parents that have not been told to the court. They were called to Oxford High School the morning of the shooting when their son Ethan was found with this drawing and a picture taken by the teacher to preserve it. Picture includes the words, the thoughts won't stop, blood everywhere, please help me, my life is useless. The world is dead. Court document also says the parents knew their son was depressed, was fascinated with guns, had been seen watching a video of violent shootings that morning. Their son's only friend had moved away in October. The family dog died. Much more evidence than we've seen before. From the get-go, prosecutors like to get their case out there as much as they can, and the defense has given them an avenue with this bond reduction motion. Attorneys for the parents are asking the judge here to reduce their bond $500,000 each down to $100,000 each. The prosecutor is arguing against that. This will be heard here before the judge on January the 7th. In Rochester Hills, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Jim. Now tonight, we are also learning that Ethan Crumbly's parents are telling a very different story about their son's case compared to what we've heard from prosecutors. Here's 7 investigator Ross Jones with that angle. What's the probability of these individuals showing up or appearing for court? In a motion filed in 52nd District Court, attorneys for James and Jennifer Crumbly say their clients don't pose a risk to public safety and won't skip town during their criminal case. They're asking that their $500,000 bond be slashed to $100,000. I think that there is a, a fair argument to reduce this bond. The whole idea is you want to be able to help your client and it's gonna be a whole lot easier to assist your client if he's out on bond where you can meet him in your office. Criminal defense attorney Ray Kassar reviewed the seven page motion saying that the defense team has its work cut out for them. The serious charges work against them, he said, and they'll have a tough time explaining why the husband and wife went missing during their arraignment. They were found in some sort of a warehouse um, that's not in their home. I mean, why weren't they at their home at least? They're going to have a, an uphill battle to convince this judge. In the new filing, attorneys introduced arguments that they hope could sway the judge. When Jennifer Crumbly texted her son, don't do it, Ethan, they argue it wasn't in reference to shooting up the school. Instead, it was a mother urging her son not to kill himself after the shooting took place. Attorneys also claim that the gun Ethan Crumbly used was in a locked and hidden location, contradicting what prosecutors have said. Ultimately, the defense says the prosecution will not be able to prove that the Crumblies knew their son was a danger to other students or that they knew there was a situation that required them to take care to avoid injuring another. These are factual issues for a trier of fact. That's later in circuit court when it comes down to trials or other pretrial motions. Attorney Dan Haji said it'll take more than what the defense is offering in this motion to get the judge to make such a big reduction in bond. These arguments, in my opinion, have already been made at the time of the arraignment. Um, I think they were fully explored and the judge set the bond the way the judge set the bond. Well, more evidence could come to light based on the arguments being made today, both attorneys believe a bond reduction is a long shot. The judge is gonna really struggle with a reduction in this case. There is no word tonight on when the judge will issue her ruling. The Crumblies are due in court in February for a preliminary exam. I'm Ross Jones.
7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Ross. Meantime, Oxford school officials are working to begin a slow reopening of the high school by the end of January. On November 30th, four students were killed inside the school and seven other people were injured after Ethan Crumbly allegedly opened fire inside the building. The district says a team of school employees and staff members has attempted to personally contact the families of all 1700 high school students. They were hoping to uh, input, have input in decisions about the current return to school plan. The district is also planning virtual and in-person town hall meetings on January 5th and 6th for Oxford families to share their ideas and their concerns. As of right now, K through 8 schools are still planning to reopen on January 3rd.